type of variation that we get in coronaviruses through mutation gives what's called antigenic drift. Small progressive sequential changes. Your immunity, whether from natural infection or from vaccination, is not a thin red line. It is defense in depth. You make antibodies, proteins that bind to the spike protein, but also memory cells that enable you to make more antibodies and a selection for essentially the best sort of antibody. And on top of that, T cells are primed. These are cells which can attack virus infected human cells. It's unlikely that this sort of drift is going to give a total escape from all this. We know that even if you've had one of those other classical coronaviruses, your T cells are primed in such a way that they do at least have some recognition of SARS CoV 2. Uh, infected cells. There isn't a complete cross immunity, but there is a degree of recognition. So if T cells can recognize cells that have been infected by SARS CoV 2 based on prior exposure to some other coronavirus, you're hardly going to get escape or total escape from uh, a mutation to SARS CoV 2. So it seems unlikely that uh, SARS-CoV-2 will evolve in a single step to get a dramatic escape from immunity. It may do that slow, d slow diminishing of immunity. We may get pools of variants as with classical coronaviruses. 